Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just yesterday, I made a video, video about nodes and about the control button and the shift button and the keyboard nudge keys. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the difference between 2018 and 19. That doesn't really matter in this video. But somebody questioned when I was using the control and the shift button. Well, two people have commented. I'm going to try to answer both questions. They said, one person said, what's the big deal? Just click it twice instead of using the shift that's going to double the speed. But when you're working, and I was working far, far apart. I've got my nudge factor set on 0 0.01. So it's really one one hundredth of an inch. These lines are a tenth of an inch apart. So when you're working at something really close and you nudge it up, it's going to take 10 arrow keys to get it up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go back. Get it perfect. Matter of fact, I'm going to take that one away in case I'm not perfect and use this one. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click it twice, three times, and I'm past there. Because I don't know what my multiplier is on this particular video. But see, I'm nudging it down with just the arrow keys. But if I hold down the shift, it'll go a lot faster. Now, the advantage to this, and let's get rid of that node and pick another node, because these are all on a straight line. The advantage of using those two nodes, and you need to do it with your shape tool. So let's hold down the shift and go one, two. Now we're really close. Now, if we, if we don't hold down a key, We'll get a little closer and a little closer, but you can see we might not quite be there, but we might be too far. So if you will hold down the control button, it cuts those strokes in half. And that's probably right on top of each other now. So your control button slows down. And so these buttons are really when you're just working really close. And you can set that, that nudge distance to anything you want. Let's pick another node here, right here. Here's another node and they're still, the two lines are still apart. So when you're working this close, hold down the shift, hit it twice, and then let go and you can nudge it a little slower. This is, I do this all the time, not only with straight lines, but trying to get two nodes closer to each other. And then somebody asked me the question, well, how do you know which is the macro and which is the, or which is the macro and then which is the micro nudge? Well, if you think about shifting a car gear, and it really doesn't make 100% sense, but shifting it into high gear. So shift it into a higher gear. Of course, people are going to say, well, you could shift it into a lower gear, but then on the control button, you've got more control. It's going to slow it down so you've got more control of it. Let's just take this node right here one more time. Let's zoom in. And maybe even, you know what? I'm going to nudge this up the whole line. So those lines are on top of each other. I'm going to take that one node, and I'm not going to use any keys but the arrow key, and it moves it up that far. Now, let's put it back where they were and hold down the shift, and it moved it that far. Actually, it looks like there's other lines jumping, but I don't think it is. So I've shifted it into high gear. Now I'm going to control it back slowly. And evidently, mine aren't set on even numbers. Or oh, there it is. It's actually on top of each other in the line. So there's that's how I'm moving them with these keyboard strokes. But this is when you're going to use the shift to control is when you're trying to uh, move nodes just very slightly without having to change your nudge distance. I normally keep my nudge distance on 0 .001. That's a really minute little deal. So if you're moving a line, let's just do it without nodes. Let's just con control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to move that other line, one arrow click, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really about eight, 
eight before you realize it's there or is, realize it's separate. So let's back up. And you can do the same thing with the shift in the arrow. And in one keystroke, you can tell the difference. Let's see how many it takes to go with the control button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can really see it after seven. So let's don't use the control button. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five to seven. So I need to look back on my, what my pattern is as far as my macro and, and uh, what my, it's normally half and double. So double speed into high, sh high gear and half speed into control gear. Anyway, I hope that answered both those questions and thank you for watching.